Oh my god, I love being motivated. I love being motivated. Me too. I love being motivated. Have you ever been with someone who you're hanging out and they're kind of far from where you live? An hour, two hours, five hours, and then they tell you, when you get home, call me so I know you're safe. Or since it's the future, text me and tell me you're safe. Hi, I'm Brett Dupree, the champion of authentic joy. Here to tell you, I never ask someone to text me, call me, or at all tell me whether or not they make it home. I know what you might be thinking. Brett, you're so careless. Do you not care whether or not they get home? I mean, won't you worry about them? No. No, I won't. Because I trust them. Because I trust them that they're going to get home. In my mind, they're going to make it. In my mind, the flight's going to be great. The driving is going to be great. I imagine them being home. Because the alternative is thinking to yourself that something bad's going to happen. You imagine their flight crashing. If they don't tell you that they made it home, their flight's crashed. If they don't tell you that they made it home, they got into a car wreck. If they don't tell you they made it home, aliens come down and just shot them up and took them out into outer space. That's not love. The Course in Miracles says there's two feelings. There's love and there's fear. You're either loving someone or you're fearing someone. When you're worrying about whether or not someone makes it home, if you're worrying about if they are okay, you're not loving them. You're fearing them. I trust my friends, I trust my family. I trust that they're gonna make it home. I trust that they're going to do okay. If I could help them, of course I will. If they ask for my help, of course I will help them. If I get an inclination to do something, of course I will do that thing. But if I cannot do anything, imagining terrible things happening to them does not help. In fact, it does nothing to prepare you for if it did, all you're doing is wasting your valuable energy, your valuable thought power, your valuable positive emotions on something you have zero control over. There's a saying, a coward dies a thousand deaths. That is because every time you think of something terrible happening in your life, you experience it. Your mind releases those chemicals. You feel bad. You feel nervous. I mean, think of something terrible happening to someone you love and you can actually feel your heart beat a little faster and you kind of go through the emotions. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? I've experienced loss. I experienced death of people I love, people I care about. And no matter how I remember it, no matter how I imagine it, it doesn't come close to equaling the pain of it actually happening. Anytime I would imagine it, I am wasting my energy. I wasn't prepared. It didn't help. It didn't soften the blow. All it did is all those other times, I felt bad. So no, don't text me when you get home because I know you're going to get home. Don't call me when your flight landed because I know your flight's going to land. And if it doesn't, that is when I'll experience you. That is when I'll experience the sadness of your loss. That one time. I will allow you to die in my life once. And I want to die once in your life. So I challenge you to trust. No matter what you do in your imagination, you'll never soften the blow of loss. All you're gonna do is rob yourself of your present joy. So let go of worry and live. Live your life. I am Brett Dupree, your champion of authentic joy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs. Give it a comment of what you think about it. And once again, I'm reminding you to be joy, to be love. Joyousexpansion.com Come and say hello to Brett Dupree. He is an inspirational life coach. Good for you and good for me. He turned my life from grey to blue. I'm sure he'll do the same for you. Get
and touch and you'll see your life will change dramatically. JoyousExpansion.com JoyousExpansion.com Yeah!